And I do love that you're in red because you kind of like paint the town red. I don't know if you're a big Doja Cat fan because when you said <laughs> every conversation this episode, you were the talk of the town. You were. Which I know sometimes is annoying, but I'm like, okay, that's kind of iconic. Even though, and that is why I'm excited to talk to you after this episode because Emily and Gina had wow. a lot to say yeah. about you. Watching that back, how was it like when when Emily was saying like, you'd go on a poll like I, to Gina, like she, you do all this to help your kids. Why isn't she doing like, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Like how? Yeah, what a dig, it? right? Yeah. Um, that was hurtful. And and I always say, I respect Emily and, and I kind of look up to her as a woman. You know, I, I find her to be very smart and successful and, and she loves her husband and she loves those kids. She's a great mom. And so for to look up to someone and to be so cut, like because I don't have what you have or because I'm not in such a great spot, you know, doesn't make me dumb. It doesn't make me less than a woman and it does not make me less than a mom. Mm -hmm. um, I am not afraid to hustle and I am not afraid to work and I would do anything for my kids. So that was that was not easy. Mm -hmm. And I mean, obviously we see your and Gina's conversation which got heated really, really mm -hmm. fast. <laughs> <laughs> that poor woman with I know. The I so walked good. in hugging, like thinking, uh, okay, I'm so excited to have this conversation. Yeah. Finally, that didn't go as planned. I mean, what was going on in your head when, like, were you blindsided by all this or were you, like, just confused or what were you thinking? It's it's hard to watch it because in the episode, I feel like I'm constantly going around like, oh, yeah, Gina, help me. Oh, yeah, Gina, help me. And Gina's, like, so taken aback personally about me being evicted from the house. All I can say is that was a really hard time, yeah. really hard time. And when I was made aware of how bad the situation was, I was in communication with the owner of the home. She's great to me to this day. So, and that was important to me to maintain that for my friendship with Gina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to be like, oh, I didn't care. Oh my God, I so cared. I would never take a woman's career or go at another woman's career. So watching that part was hard. I'll say this, Gina's a good girl and we've had we have had that conversation now mm -hmm. and that's not the spot we sit in today that because i love to hear that because <clears throat> watching that moment when i was thinking about what she was so angry with you guys are were kind of in similar shoes where you're both trying to find a place to raise your family mm -hmm. correctly you know what i mean because mm -hmm. she's having the issue yes. with travis like yeah. I, we can't do that here i don't know where to go so i feel like she has a lot of stuff in flux this season and mm -hmm. i think it just Maybe she was coming on a little hard. Did you feel she was maybe coming on hard yes. because stuff she was dealing with? And Gina and I have been here before. Yeah. And she'll come so hard at me. Mm -hmm. And then I realize, oh, gosh, if I would have only known she was going through this in her personal life. Yeah. I didn't know at the time, mm -hmm. right? And so I don't know if I was an outlet. I, I don't know what it was. I'm sure there was genuine frustration for her. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, Gina came hard for mm -hmm. sure.